Hey there, and welcome back to Armenia in Crusader Kings 3. If you are enjoying this campaign, remember to subscribe. It's great. It's a great thing to do. Go ahead, subscribe, keep up to date on all content this channel provides. We have a fine bit of land right here. Lots of uh, unique families. Uh, where's the... Uh, are you the descendant of... Yeah, 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 yeah. Vashek. Fuck Vashek. Seems to have a, uh, a family haircut here, so... They might be the bad guys in the campaign. They're Armenian. Apol... Apol... How do we say this? Apostolic. We're apostolic. Yeah. Let's have a look at the religion here. Yeah, it's going great. We do have all of it, don't we? Yeah, we do. We have all of that land. And then, as far as Armenian goes, we have most. It's a little bit down here, but they are being converted by... Um, the borders there. Uh, Georgians might get a little bit screwed over with our policies here, but... Uh, hopefully, it'll just be more around these regions. Anyway, we uh, do have a bit of money together now, and we do have some allies. I just, I might wait a little bit longer to try and get some more uh, people in this. Let's have a look. Against my least 100%, 5 members. Okay, that is pretty, uh, oh, 245%. We could just go out and do this straight away. So who, who do we have? Oh, this guy's part of it. That's good. You, not so useful, not so useful. Not useful. But you being a part of this is very, very, very useful. And then hopefully we can become stronger than this man himself. And uh, from there, be able to just attack into the Arbacid uh, time and time again. I'm not sure, though, how well it will go through. So he is already in wars as, as well there. Okay. Well, let's press demands. Um, the faction will send an ultimatum to the faction target. If accepted, the faction's demands will be fulfilled. If the target does not accept, there will be civil war. Faction leader is a player, so demands can be sent in spite of discontent and military uh, or faction uh, military power thresholds. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just do that then. Press demands. And if we do need to go to war, we do have the Byzantine Empire who we can come to our aid. Excellent. Then war it is. So war has been started. The Abbasids are under attack. We have quite a few uh, friends, luckily, including you, who I was uh, thinking of not, uh, well, attacking again. Who we got? Yeah, we got some good power here. We should try and get as many people in as we can, though. Spies and Tiny Empire, would you like to be involved here with all of your forces? It's going to cost me a lot of my stuff. 750 prestige. In fact, putting me below uh, the number there, but uh, we, we don't mind. We'll go ahead and do it. Let's get our army to raise. Where is our our spot here? So, all the way down here. Oh, right. So, their capital is in Shazur. I might just go around and start sieging out these, uh, these mountains here. Raise all the troops. Excellent. Well, that wasn't the amount of troops they said I had. That's uh, much lower. Oh well, let's uh, let's get starting uh, some sieges around here. This guy, let's go after this this guy's land. Yeah, sure. We have friends joining, and hopefully more can join. I'm not sure if that's uh, a way this works. My wife, Princess Anastasia, eagerly brings a woman before me. My prince, allow me to introduce you to Azanet, claimants to the sheikdom of Ushman. Azanet bows before me and says, "It is an honor, my lady." Sadly, Ushman, Ushmum, man will most likely remain out of my grasp without a beneficiary on my side. I might just be able to help you with that. So what is this? Um, push her claim until I'm as right to join my court. Anastasia Ashmum. Neither of you are Ashmum. Uh, prison parchment. We imprisoned as a as an art. I don't see why I would do that. Good luck. Well, let's just see if they do join my course. These people do. She has a betrothal. He's not very useful. So we could go ahead and break that. Sure. So, uh, as a, as net, you are now in my court. We're going to use you to get a matrilineal marriage to get a uh, man of high prowess over. Whoever the best is. Looks like he might be this guy. Yep. Uh, he is quite good. 20. We'll go ahead and bring him over. He'll be a grand man to have during any particular conflict. Excellent, he has come and joined us. Unfortunately, I can't raise him straight away. But it's not the worst thing to ever happen. Lifestyle Park. A uh, meteocracy can use claim thrown against your liege. That might have been a good way to gain strength, but I don't want to be taken over there. I'm, oh, game's not paused, my bad. Uh, tax, let's go with uh, Taxman. 
Nothing bad happened while we were in that screen. Good. Can I war on a Sultan? Uh, not my biggest concern. Byzantine Empire is on the way. They will uh, be a grand help in this war, but let, let's uh, let's have a bit more help, and that is the the speed here. A shady discussion. I am passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Gundamaru and Gervog to my ear. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently a glancing around to make sure nobody's listening. While it is hard for me to make out most of their words, from a distance it is clear that it, it uh, relates to Emir David, my cousin. I must warn David. Yeah, sure, let's warn him. Excellent, and uh, one of my daughters has converted to orthodoxy. How? Demand conversion back. Who's your educator? Also, my sons, you're 14 and you're still Greek. This is absurd. Stop being Greek, you pricks. He could always uh, go to his local culture. In fact, I should have moved my army there. I was stuck for a little bit. My bad. Brilliant work, Vazadat. You have converted the local area there. Let's go to council. Let's get him to convert a bit further into these here mountains. They should all follow the correct religion. And so they shall. Nature and Nurture. After my long tutelage of young Ashot, I was pleased to no end when he told me that he considers himself Armenian. Of course you do! Why would you not? Uh, my lieges won their war against uh, Idris. Oh, good for them. Steward, let's uh, choose whomever has the highest stats out of my lords here, and that appears to be you. You know, you are Muslim. You are Armenian, but you are Muslim. He might accept. We'll uh, try and convert him over. 50 gold, okay, 50 gold to have him, and I assume his heirs converts? Yeah, okay, that's, that's worth it. White peace, I decline. I will not be uh, accepting a white piece of you. Wait, who took over that? That should be mine. Let's go get Mosul. Hopefully, uh, no, the Byzantines have taken over to siege too. Bankrupts, my treasury is empty. My larder baron, even the rats have been sold to pay for my expenses. Yet I am still unable to pay off all the debts I owe. Now I owe Sheik Filippo a favour if he helps me out. Confiscate church property to raise funds. Ah. Tighten my belt and uh, see what I can. Yeah, I'll tighten my belt for a second. And let's see if I can actually get some more wealth out of you. No? Oh, it's the Head of Faith. Well, let, let's go to the Head of Faith. Let's see if he does have something for us. My good man! What? Why not? Base reluctance. He's greedy. Uh-huh. Oh, never mind. A little bit of stress isn't too bad, though. A young mediator. There was a commotion among the children today. Yagisi was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. A shot intervened and managed to stop the fight before anybody got hurt. Good. Well done. Be, remain calm, my good man. A secret exposed. Amir Awais of Al Amari has accused my steward, Sheikh Abul Magha, of having an incestuous relationship with his own sister. Abul Magha and uh, Halima are lovers. Well, well, well. I have seen and heard many things in my day, but this is uh, definitely something. God will judge these sinners. I don't know if is, is incest a sin in Islam? I really don't know. Like, I hear a lot about uh, cousin marriage for visas in, in the UK, but I don't know if uh, sibling is, is allowed. Uh, court of War. Greetings, some part of Armenia. I call an alliance on the Damat conquest of Ataka. Allies, this is a guy all the way down here against these lot. I'll accept. It's not really something that's going to affect me at all. We'll just uh, leave them to it. So how's this war going? We... Yeah, they've, they've gained strength. They're 5,300, but we, of course, have the Byzantines on our side, so we should be relatively safe here. I've already got some guys going on to that province. Can I take this over? Who, who occupies it? Occupied by... Emir Ahmad. Is he on my side? I believe he is. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just... We'll just go get some supplies back, then. I gain supplies here? No, I don't. Why? What, what is the limit? A lot lower than what I currently have. Okay, well, let's go all the way back home, then. I'll go home, and we'll uh, try and get some stuff here. Yagisi has come of age. He is, however, still Greek. 
That is disgusting. If he ever does become the player character, we'll of course switch over. He's betrothed to Adina Nawakulu, and his brother is probably going to be a better character, so we might go ahead and uh, switch over there. Ban one from being a lord. So the uh, limit here is 2,500. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to split our forces in half. Unfortunately, a lot of guys have come over to join us, but uh, really, could you could you please not? I want... I need supplies. Okay, what I might do then is just disband my army. Uh, since I can't get supplies here and these guys are being dicks, I will disband my army. And we'll let them go about their business for a few months. Oh, let's get rid of these. Yeah, I, I can't. Let's allow these guys to go do their business. What a sent proposal. Uh, I would like your son. No, we're at war, you fool. Spymaster, let's go with uh, Prince Gregor, of course. Prince Gregor, you may uh, you may do stuff. This guy, he just lost a lot of men there. Your leaders lost their war with Emir Ahmad. Good. Good, fuck them. Looks like a lot of sieges are going to be going on over here. Wait, their capital was liberated. Oh, that's unacceptable. My son has married his bride, Adina. Good for them. She, however, will not convert. Oh, that's that's not great. Uh, could you please not be uh, a dick? A, a Greek, I mean. Please convert, my boy. Uh, one of my daughters converted to orthodoxy. Yeah, please don't. Who is your educator? Remove guardian. Oh, I see... So, yep, remove the guardian. Uh, educate your child, myself, or just somebody else. Her education is in stewardship. Although she's very good in intrigue. Yeah, Abul Barib, sure. I will actually switch you over to. Oh, you already are on intrigue. I just uh, messed up what I saw there. My daughter, my son. Son, son. We got too many sons. Let's have a look at the uh, succession. Oh, we're a clan. Clan create cadet branches. Oh, that's my liege. Never mind. Uh, yeah, Confederate partition. Four titles lost. He gets Georgia. He gets uh, land down there, which a bit of, little bit of border gore. Uh, can we get rid of that? Georgia and the uh, two provinces up there. Yeah, we, we should try. But even if we get rid of one of our, one of our sons, we still end up with the uh, the same issue because the other son will just inherit Georgia instead. What do we got here? Empty council position against Stuart. Um, who's this? My nephew. Okay. If he looks up for the task, he is a handsome man. Excellent. That's exactly what we want in our bloodline. Handsome man. He's irritable, but uh, who isn't? Everybody's irritable a bit. Somehow, somewhere. Nothing wrong with being a bit irritable, is there? 75. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll uh, stay out of this war for, for now. It's a little bit gamey, but I, I want to keep my money and my men ready so we can try and... Oh, we don't have the force vassalization anymore. We would still be able to go after Emir Ulnduk here. Investments in the Hayek. Uh, my lord, it's come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest in the principality of Hayek. My wife Anastasia draws up the details for the business investment, and it does indeed look as if the deal could benefit Hayek greatly. Or I gain prestige. I could use the prestige more than uh, more development in the land. Available perks. Defensive measures. Cutting cornerstones. Metrocracy. I do like this. Vassal levy contributions. We're going to go and try and get that. Victory. Um, okay. Doesn't affect our war. Our war is at 92%. So we should be able to win that momentarily. As short as of age. Well done, a shot. You are betrothed off to uh, Fio de Linda. We could break that. I, lo I do lose prestige. Huh. So this guy, he's he's Greek. But I can always convert him. Afterwards, 96. Okay, we're doing good. 97. Is that going to be it? No, 100. Excellent. My son is now married to his wife there. Very, very good. Excellent. Lombard Catholics, eh? Well, let's go ahead and uh, enforce demands here. We'll become independent Armenia 
is in the pendants. Three and a half thousand men strong. And the first thing we should do is try and betray our allies. This guy here, we could do a holy war for his entire kingdom. Or just his duchy. I can't actually afford either because I'm not faithful. Uh, where's this one? Oh, I'm a bit far off. I could go for a county, but that's not really worth much. I need to get up to faithful. We need about 270. And I could go for his entire land. 270. Is there a way we can quickly get some here? Go on a pilgrimage. Sure. Prepare the journey. The site of Jerusalem. Churches of Antioch. To Kapan. Or perhaps somewhere else. I'm not sure where Kapan is. Let's go to Jerusalem. Yeah, let's go to Jerusalem. Of course. We'll gain lots and lots of piety. Then we will holy war for all of this land here. He does have friends. Quite strong friends, in fact. Wait, was that a guy underneath him? Who are you? Looks like you might be his vassal. No, you're an independent guy yourself. Where? Is it this guy? Sir Marge. I... Oh, band. He's a, uh, a mercenary band. Okay. Well, it should be relatively safe to go to war and attack this guy. Departure. My glory is also widely known. Excellent. And it is time to depart. Uh, tax lean in what? Really? Oh, I mean in apostolic. He's not even good to have as a commander. Never a peasant lord is to serve their lord. Rally the troops. We're just going to have to go and uh, bang some heads together up here. A shame I do not like to uh, fight my own peasants, but... Let's do it. Off you go, fellas. The end is nigh. As my party presses through a small town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. At the centre, a man stands on an overturned fish cart, shouting wildly to all who will listen. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent, repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried-looking townsfolk now see whisper to each other, fearful of the doomsayer's words. The man is not a priest. Cast him down. I gain a lot of piety. Yeah, let's do it. What, did we... Oh, vanish without a trace. I thought maybe we'd just killed him off. Um... Pilgrimage, the arrival, excellence. I am finally here, body and soul, at the great church of Jerusalem. As the bishop offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that had happened for God to bring me here at this moment in time. Excellent, we gain pilgrim and a lot of piety. Also, we have defeated this man here, we'll disband this army. And, uh, yeah, let's go to our prisoners. Only the two. 25 days! Could recruit you, but you are stupid. You're, you're pretty fucking useless, Evedis. There's no reason. Can I execute him? It spends piety. Uh, I don't want to do that. Negotiate release. I could just recruit him, but he's going to hate me. Uh, let's just leave him then. That's this guy. Uh, he's useless. He's a useless uh, Kurdish man. He's scarred. Probably caught him in a battle. Demand his conversion. Just kick him out. We cook? Yeah, sure. Let, let's get him out. He's been in here for four years. Victory! Eleven men lost. This was an absolute slaughter. Look at that. Gundamaru Pinoli. This, this is the new man who married my uh, courtier there. He has a nice, yeah, he's the new guy. What happened to the, the big guy? Where, where did he go? Big guy? I forget his name, but uh, he's clearly not here. Also, these chaps are known as counts now. What am I known as? Prince Sumbart of Armenian, yes. Uh, and you are the Duke. Oh, excellent. We've changed our terminology now. Counts and Dukes. Of course, Princes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's that's much better. Negotiate alliances. Uh, in line to inherit titles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at Georgia, though. Is that still a uh, issue? It is. You'll at least become a Duke within uh, reasonable borders. But you. You gaining... Uh, Georgia is quite an issue. Quite an issue. Ah, uh, he is so much better than this chap too. We could, can we try and kill him? I can't. I could disinherit. He is Greek after all. I gain ten stress, and oh, this will cost me uh, one hundred and fifty. Oh yes, it would cost me this. Three hundred prestige, not that bad. Okay. Well, we might do it. If we get 150 there, I think we might. 
Good, farewell you, uh, my Kurdish friends. Oh, he's actually on the border. This could be home. My journey has been a long one, but I have finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the priests and bishops treat me. I have undergone a journey of a holy man, and they insisted it has changed something about me, whether I can see it about myself or not. Excellent. Yeah, shame we can't get anywhere around here. The opposites are going to be a bit too strong for me to simply go to war with. Holy war for an entire kingdom, though that will be stronger later on. Absolutely. Oh, well, hopefully we'll be able to um, disinherit this son before we come of age and have Prince Ashot the Great become our heir instead. Prince Melech would uh, inherit Georgia, but that's... It's relatively fine. How far are we from... So the only empires around here are either the Persian, Abbasid, or Byzantine. It's like Italy, we can just quickly take over. Or Carthafia, we can quickly take over. We are kind of not... There's no Empire of the Caucasus. Quite a few kingdoms, though. This realm would continuously uh, split up. Anyway, that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying the content. If you are, remember, subscribe. Keeps you up to date on all content, and it makes me incredibly happy. I uh, do enjoy seeing the, uh, the daily numbers rise, especially with uh, a new series like this. Although this is episode about six, isn't it? Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.